Today I'm going to be building a pergola. What's a pergola, you ask? That's a pergola. I'll begin by unloading all the wood that I just bought. I've got 6x6 posts. Those pieces of wood are about 10 feet long. I'm going to cut them down to about 9. And then we've got some 2x12s, we've got some 2x6s, some 2x2s, and some other scrap wood, and then some lattice. The first step is to cut the posts down to exactly 9 feet tall. Even with a 12 inch sliding miter saw, I couldn't cut all the way through that 6 inch post, so I had to rotate it a couple times to get all the way through. The next step was to cut the 45 degree braces that are going to be sitting inside the posts going up to the 2x12s and 2x6s, so there are about 8 of them total. With the posts lined up at one edge and then clamped together side to side, it was time to go ahead and mark where the cutouts were going to be for the posts. I'm setting up edge guides for this fancy, super fancy jig that I made for my circular saw. If you would like to see more information about that little jig, go ahead and click on the link in the description or I'll put it on the video right here. The idea is to get an inch deep cutout that's at a 45 degree angle to accept the braces in the posts. I'm making cuts every about quarter inch so that way those little pieces are easy to break out and then remove with a hammer and chisel. I know it seems like a tedious process but every time I set up the edge guides, made the cuts, broke all the pieces out and then planed it with the circular saw, it only took about 30 minutes. This is the part where my jig comes in really, really handy. Uh, with the circular saw on, I can just slide it left and right without falling into the cracks, and then it creates a nice smooth edge so that it's playing down and it, it accepts the brace just a little bit better. I was having a few problems with my blade during this cutout process and so if you notice that right side is a little bit more jagged, a little bit too deep than the left side. Now it's time to put a bevel on the 2x12s and cut them down to length. I'll call these 2x12s the joists. These are going to be the lowest level of the top of the pergola. With my homemade template made out of 8th inch masonite, it was time to cut the detail on the ends of the 2x12s. Uh, I normally would have used my jigsaw in this case, but the bottom was busted and it did not cut very well at all. On two of the 2x12s, those are the two inside ones, I had to make two cutouts on the edges to make way for the 45 degree braces that are going to be coming up. My first pergola build, I noticed that they were in the way, and so I had to make the cutout on the fly, but this time I was thinking ahead. Now we're at the 2x6s. This is the second layer in the top of the pergola. Before I cut the detail on the ends, I wanted to cut out the notches on the underside of them. That way they would sit nice and snug on the 2x12s. I wouldn't really need any adjusting when I put them up there, and they would sit real flush. The client that I'm building this pergola for wanted a bar on one of the sides. I've got two 1x12s by 7 feet long that I'm going to join together to get a bar that's about 22 and a half inches deep. Biscuits alone won't hold that bar together very well, so I'm cutting some supports out of 2x4s that are going to go on the underside of the bar top. There's definitely some bow in those 1x12s, so I'm going to be relying heavily on those 2x4 supports on the bottom side to straighten those out. 
I'm tacking these 2x4 supports on from the underside with stainless steel screws that are exactly 2 inches long. So then that way they would hold pretty well as I turn the bar top over. I could sink 4 screws into each 2x4 support. Now it's time to begin the detail in the 2x6s. I'm cutting the same 20 degree bevel on both sides and then cutting them all down to the same length. Using a smaller template on the 2x6s, it's time to go ahead and route out that detail. In this part of the process, I'm cutting the shoes out of 1x8 cedar. These are going to be covering up the metal brace that is underneath the posts that's on top of the concrete. I'm cutting a 45 degree miter on each of these on both sides so that way they'll fit together snugly around the post. Now I'm cutting a 45 degree bevel on the top side of each of these shoes so that way the rain will run off a little bit easier and won't cause the wood to rot as soon. time for delivery I wanted to go ahead and pre-assemble the posts and these support braces. I'm drilling a 3 8 inch hole all the way through the post and then through the support brace so that way it will accept a half inch lag screw. Then I went ahead and drilled a half inch all the way through the post so that way I wouldn't be fighting any wood going through that post. To put these two pieces together I used Lexel clear adhesive and then an 8 inch lag screw on the bottom of the post and then a 10 inch lag screw on the top just using an impact drill to drive them both through. In order to put the second piece on, I had to raise the post up on some 2x4s or just some kind of support so that way the bolts from the other piece wouldn't get in the way. And there's the pre-assembly. The build video will be coming soon. I'll post a link in the description or right here on the video so that way you can click on it and see how it goes up. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with your friends that are interested in building a pergola. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.